In this video of our shed project series, we are going to be adding a roof in Autodesk Revit. Now, for the last five videos, we've been working in level one, but now in the project browser, we're going to switch to the roof. So, over here in the project browser, go ahead and double click on roof. That is now taken us into the roof plan, and now we can go ahead and get started. In the architecture ribbon, I'm going to go ahead and click on the roof button here. And right away, again, our panel, or I'm sorry, our ribbon has switched to the modify. You'll notice that we're now on a boundary line. And there is a drop down menu in the properties panel to switch to some different style roofs. I'm going to go ahead and choose the wood rafter 8 inch asphalt single, shingle. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the exterior walls as a boundary for my roof. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the exterior walls. One, two, three, and four. Right away you're going to notice your slope symbol popping up, as well as a number over here that's indicating the slope. And you also see some arrows for flipping. Um, just be aware of those. And next we're going to add in a 6 inch overhang of the roof on all four sides of the shed. So to do that, I'm going to left click on this pink line up here, if it'll let me. Let's try this one. And actually, you know what, we're going to do that in a second. For right now, go ahead and just click the check mark. That is going to add in our roof, so now you're starting to see the roof. But I want to go back in and make some changes. So what I'm going to do is just double click back into the roof. You notice I'm back into the modify. And now I'm going to click on this pink line. And I'm going to change the overhang over here to 6 inches. I'm going to hit enter on the keyboard. And now I have a 6 inch overhang. I'm going to repeat that again for the remaining three walls. So just like that. So currently the slope of each portion of the roof is 9 and 12, so the rise in your run. I want to create more of a gable style roof. So what I'm going to do is left click this edge of my roof up here. And then I'm going to click on, I'm going to uncheck this define roof slope. So notice it got rid of that slope on that side. The slope symbol is now gone. I'm going to do the same thing on this side of the roof. So I'm going to click on this edge, and then I'm going to uncheck this define roof slope again, and notice it got rid of it down there. And now I can go ahead and hit the green check mark again, and I have my roof. I would also like to make some more edits to the roof, so I'm going to click on Edit Type while that is still selected. And this time I'm not going to make a duplicate, I'm just going to edit the current one. So I'm going to click on Edit Structure. And I'm going to change the structure of the wood joist. Instead of 7.5 inches, I'm going to switch that to a 4 inch thickness. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And OK again, and then you'll notice now that that um, right in the middle has now switched from 7.5 to 4 inches. And before we move on to the next thing, I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And now I'm going to add in some fascia for the roof. So to do that, I'm going to click the drop-down menu this time underneath the architecture uh, ribbon for the roof. I'm going to drop that down and go to roof fascia and then I'm going to click on edit type and we are going to duplicate it and we're going to rename it I'm going to leave the fascia flat but it's going to be a 1 by 8 and I'm going to click OK and then for the profile drop down I'm going to switch that so I'm going to left click to get in there and then drop this down and switch it to a 1 by 8. 
And I'm going to click OK. And now what I need to do is click six edges of my roof. So right here I'm going to left click. Two, three, four, five, and six. And now I've added the fascia to my uh, roof. I'm going to click save again. And now we're actually going to go into a 3D view and see your shed for the first time in 3D. So up top in the quick access toolbar area, you have a default 3D view button. It looks like a little house. Go ahead and click on that. You'll notice that it added it up here. If I need to go back to the other ones, I could. I'm going to zoom in, roll my mouse wheel forward. And you'll, I'm going to pan down, left click, hold the mouse wheel down and move my mouse. You'll notice that we have a huge gap right here for this wall that has the garage on it. It's not going up to the uh, roof line. So what I'm going to do is left click on that wall to select it. And then there's an option right here. It's called Attach Top Base. So if you look at the before and after, it's exactly what we want to do. So I'm going to left click that Attach Top slash Base. And then it's going to want you to select the roof. So I'm going to click on the roof. And now it has raised that wall up and closed that gap. I'm going to hit Escape to deselect that wall. Now what I need to do is orbit. To orbit while you're in 3D, you're going to hold the shift key on the keyboard and you're going to hold down the mouse wheel and move your mouse. And then I'm going to pan over holding that mouse wheel and then I'm going to shift orbit again. I'm trying to get to the back here. So I'm orbiting, shift, holding the mouse wheel, moving my mouse. And you'll notice that we're having the same issue on the rear wall. So I'm going to perform those same steps. Highlight the wall attach top slash base, click my roof. And then now that is fixed. I'm going to hit escape. Now I want to go back to the home view. So your view cube is very helpful. So I'm going to click on the home button here and it's now taking me back to the home view. I'm just going to zoom back in. And I'm going to go ahead and click on save. The last thing we're going to do with the roof is add some gutters. So under the architecture ribbon, I'm going to drop down the roof options and go to roof gutter. Now when I go to the gutter, I'm going to go ahead and simply just click on the upper edge of the roof. So I'm going to zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to left click that edge on the, on the top edge of the roof and notice that it added in my gutter. I'm going to orbit around to the other side, pan a little bit, and do the same thing. I'm going to click, left click this top edge of the roof to add the gutter there. And then I'm going to hit enter on the keyboard to confirm that. And then I'm going to hit escape to get out of the, v, out of the gutter tool. I'm going to hit the house button to go back to my home view. Kind of zoom back in to see what I'm looking at here. And then now I have my gutters and I'm going to save. And that is the end of this video.